Right, we're pretty much set up and ready to rock and roll. Now, all we need to do is cast out. Now, we've got Graham Maybe here, who is the angling development officer for the Southeast. He's also the assistant manager for Carp Team England. So, he should know how to cast. Let's go and see him uh, and we'll get you a basic cast and then we are fishing. Okay, so I'm gonna talk you through a basic cast here with a beach rod and a fixed spool reel. So it's called a fixed spool reel because the spool itself is fixed into position and you've got the roller which turns around when you turn the handle and winds the line around the spool. The first thing we wanna do when we're coming to the cast is make sure that we've got a drop of around about a meter or a meter and a half from the tip of the rod down to your weight. You do, basically, you don't want the weight right up next to the tip. Just one little tip to point out to people. With the fixed ball reel, we've got this lever at the top of the spool, which is the drag. And what that does is when we loosen it off, we can actually pull line out of the spool and that will lower the lead down. We also use it if you hook into a big fish and it's pulling really hard, it can actually pull line from the reel there, acting like a shock absorber. Um, so, two little tips really. If you wind the weight up too close to the tip ring, you can just loosen off the drag, lower the weight down to the desired length, so about a metre, metre and a half. But just make sure always before you cast, your drag is done up really tight. And that's important because if you're holding on to the line like so and making the cast, if that drag is loose, the line can slip and could end up cutting your finger. So always before the cast, make sure your drag is done up nice and tight. There's three stages to what you're gonna do down here with the reel. Hold the, uh, the reel with two fingers either side of the reel seat here like so. And the first one is gonna be you put the roller to the top. And to do so, you just roll the roller around with your hand and have it so the roller comes to the top. Second stage, it's gonna be finger on the line. So we're gonna use your index finger your trigger finger to hold the line against the rod like so and then the third stage is going to be open the bail arm which is this bit here which goes around the, uh, the, the spool and we're going to open it up and it'll click into place. Now what that's done is when that bail arm's open it means when I release my finger the line will come off of the spool and allow the weight to go out into the water. So that's why we're holding the line against the rod there. So that's what we're going to do with our hands. I'm now ready to, uh, to actually perform the cast. So I'm gonna just check behind me to make sure there's no one there to start with. I'm gonna bring the rod around slightly to the side. And I'm just gonna watch the weight as it goes behind me in the hooks to make sure it's not getting caught on anything. And then I'm gonna turn myself and face towards the water. And quite simply, what we're going to do is have the rod at 45 degrees up behind us. We're gonna slightly drop it back and then bring the rod forward and when the rod reaches 45 in front, degrees in front of us we're going to release that trigger finger and what that's going to do is it's going to allow the weight to fly out into the water if you release it too early the weight will go up if you release it too late the weight will go down so it's just getting the timing right and it's not about how hard you swing this rod or how much power you put into it it's all about the timing and the technique so i'll go ahead and show you a cast so 45 degrees up behind me. I'm just gonna lower the rod, bring it forward, and release with my finger. There we go. So once it lands in the water, you'll see the bail arm is still open here. So what I'm going to do, that's the, the line is coming out. So we wanna close that once it hits the water, and then we can turn the handle to tighten down onto the weight, and that's when it's ready to go into the tripod. So there we go. That's a basic cast how to cast a beach rod with a fixed ball reel.